Okay, so we'll start with a fairly basic problem. We've got the graph of an ellipse here um, in a coordinate system, and we want to find the equation, right? So we're looking for this sort of shifted ellipse here, right? So the coordinates x0, y0, those are going to be the center of the ellipse. So we can see right away the center here has to be at minus 3, 1, right? So the center is minus 3, 1, right? So that is x0. That is why not. Um, so now we got to figure out what A and B are, right? So A is this distance from here to here, right? Um, this whole length from, from minus A to A, from here to here, right? Um, this longer distance is, is called the, the major axis. From halfway point to A is called the semi-major axis, right? So A is the length of this so-called semi-major axis. Um, so we can look at our picture here and we can say, okay, well, here's the center. Here's kind of the, the vertex going the long way. And we can work out what is that distance. Well, we're going from 1 um, up to 6. So that's the distance of 5, right? And the same thing going down, right? From 1 down to minus 4, that's also a distance of 5. Okay. And the width of the ellipse, so the shorter of the, the two sort of axes here is called the minor axis. Half the distance, that's the semi-minor axis. And so for the coordinates that we're given, we have this as our semi-minor axis. And we're going from um, minus 3 is the x-coordinate over to minus 1. Right? So that's a change in x of 2. Okay. So... Um, it's a little bit different here in that, you know, A, A and B, we, you know, we, we wrote them down here for this sort of picture here where the major axis is um, horizontal and the minor axis is vertical. Here's the other way around. The major axis is vertical, um, but that just means we, we swap the, the positions for the A and the B, right? So 5 is, is basically going to be the coefficient for Y, right? The 2 is going to give me the coefficient for X. So... Putting it all together, we have x minus minus 3, so x plus 3 squared over 2 squared. And then we have y minus 1 squared over 5 squared. And that should equal 1. 